We filmed a little teaser to prep for the YouTube channel. Teaser? Teaser or taser? Teaser, taser. No, but not a taser. It wasn't a taser, guys. <laughs> Such a character, please. Character? <laughs> That's kind of when we started looking for apartments. One trip before that, too, all together, we drove down to Toronto to check out a few places. This bottle is 40 years old. And we're drinking it. <laughs> this is the kitchen. Here is a room which is really like nice and and it's big. We walked around. Hi guys. <laughs> It's me. <laughs> we just like discovered the bicycle thing, bike share. We went on the metro. First time for Martin. It was so funny. After that, me and Miss Miss Age sent a message to us, and she was like, "Oh, I found an apartment," and she was gonna go visit um, the day after. The price was right. The space was nice, you know, like it was clean. I got here and there was like a line outside of people that wanted to come visit. So I was like, ooh, like it's wanted. Bitches. We were so nervous when we booked the place. Martin and I like, bro. Before signing the lease, they wanted us to pay for first month and last month's rent. I was on vacation like far from here, like in the north. The data was not super good. So we're just like receiving a bunch of messages like, oh guys, like I'm scared it's a scam. And I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean it's a scam? So I was like trying to receive messages, but like I was just receiving a couple of messages. So I was not getting the full entire story. I was like, mm, mm. Let me ask my professionals. Oh frig, I totally forgot about the scam. <laughs> <laughs> I sent them the contract and they were like, well, uh, you shouldn't pay up front. They should do this and that and a third, blah, 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 blah. So my insecurities just like went on to Martin. Okay, so guys, I'm a little bit nervous, you know? The guy for the apartment just took the money without even answering the email. We were like, hey, but if it's a scam, like, we're getting scammed together, guys. Like, it's gonna cost a bunch of money, but, like, we're all gonna pay for it. And Miami was just like... She was just chilling. It's not my first time moving, so I've gone through a lot of different apartment applications and stuff. And so, like, this whole process wasn't anything that was too stressful for me. I was just kind of, you know, waiting for things to align and, you know, whatever happens, happens. But my roommates... I became... An FBI agent. I'm telling you, they were very like concerned about stuff. Uh, you know, a lot of things I would just be like, they'd be like texting our group chat about all this stuff, and I'd just be like, they actually took the money without even answering the email. So we were like, what the fuck? Bitch. I looked for their the location of their business into LinkedIn to find like if they had good reviews, like who they were as a person. They had bad reviews. So that freaked me out. I knew their mama's name, grandmama's names, pet's names. It was because it was on a Friday and then I guess they didn't work till uh, Monday. So on Monday we received an email like, oh, you have the apartment, blah, blah. You're gonna go come get the keys. And that's what she did. And it was not as cam. So as you can see, we're living here and now. So we were gradually moving things in. Uh, we were able to decorate um, gradually as well. At first it was kind of a mess, an explosion everywhere, just stuff all over the place. When I came to pick up the keys, the superintendent, like I was asking him what we could do because I wanted to paint my room. So I asked him if I could paint my room. And then he was like, the one thing, like just please don't put a bunch of holes all over the wall. <laughs> But the thing is, there's no built-in storage in this place. So we had to make our own and therefore had to make holes in this house. 
I moved with my mama and my daddy. So my my family, we don't really cry a lot. Like that's just like not a thing. And Matthew was out there like. <laughs> so my grandmama and my mama helped me move my stuff. Then I came back to uh, Cantley, and then when I went back, it was with Melissa. 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 Who the Who the fuck is Melissa? <laughs> When I literally moved, I was crying like a baby. If you want to see like little clips of it, I recorded it. Don't ask me why. Hello guys. <laughs> he just wants attention. Attention whore. So every Sunday, we're going to have this thing called the TTT night. Tequila, taco in Toronto. Guess who is celebrating their first TTT night? So Melissa, what are you preparing for us tonight? Um, so on the menu tonight, um, mojito, a superior Oh, okay, mojito. love it. Now, oh, and so you're the bartender tonight. Yes. And what are your plans for the night, Miandi? Um, I'm fixing chairs. Oh. Because I'm Bob the Builder. Is my toolbox? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that yesterday. You can plug it in the wall. It's the first time that I... Like, I've never seen that before. It's the cheaper version. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I live my life. That's the night where we get drunk a dunk. Oh, that looks delicious. Thanks, Melissa. Can we taste together? Yes, sir. To who? Cheers. Very romantic. We cook a bomb meal and we just enjoy our our time in Toronto with each other. We've been here for a while now and uh, we were, we've been able to like go out and go for drinks. No fucking way. Do I fucking look like that? Last night at the condo, yeah, way up into the condo. I've noticed that Martin is so used to living with a bunch of dudes, it's hard for him to adapt. Like, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. He never puts his freaking seat down. So Martin is like the question master. <laughs> like every 2.5 seconds, there's a question about something, <laughs> which is fine. It's great. It's good. Okay, I feel like Mian be like I can, I notice when she's moody. Like when she's moody, I'm like okay, she's moody. I'm just not gonna ask question anymore. Cause it's cause sometimes I ask question and I feel like she's just bothered by my question. Mian is the mom. Like, if you're looking for approval of any sort, or just call me Ambi, her advice is just like, fake it until you make it. Smell <laughs> loud, but like, you know, it's like not a, it's like an excitement loud. It's not just like loud for no reason, you know? Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> she screams a lot, but I don't really mind it. Like, it's fine, because I also scream a lot. When I say she screams a lot, it's always like ah! I can't even do it. Like how do Exactly. I'm out. Hey.